What's going on everybody? I'm back again with another vlog and today I'm back again in the Bronx, New York in the neighborhood of Riverdale, a neighborhood that I've always wanted to explore and today's the day so I just got off the Metro North and I'm gonna start walking around. So far this is pretty residential over here. The Hudson River's over that side and New Jersey's in the other side so I'm gonna start making my way over here and walk around see what the neighborhood has to offer me so join me. So far the first thing you see is a lot of nature here you can see all these beautiful houses and the trees so i'm gonna i'm gonna go up the hill like i say this train station is literally like in the middle of a private residential area really quiet it gives you a vibe like if you're in a suburb this is the beauty about exploring around here in new york city so i'm gonna see what the neighborhood has for me they won't think about this neighborhood or especially around this area there's not really much of a sidewalk so just gotta watch where you're going so i'm just trying to look at the map and navigate where am i gonna go so it's kind of looks like churches kind of like a church it's actually like a beautiful house here it's like another residential area and the streets are like super super quiet so i'm thinking the nighttime it must be pretty interesting but maybe creepy at the same time because there's literally nobody like i'm the only guy who's walking here in the street <laughs> i guess this is the thing about exploring and you got a beautiful house over here They gotta do some work in the street because it's pretty bumpy. But then look at this. Really beautiful house. And they pretty much maintain it. This is like literally up in a hill too. I'm surrounded just by nature. And this is like a hidden gem in the Bronx and one of the wealthiest areas over here in the Bronx. So yeah. Over here you got like another mansion too. So I'm still going over here, over this street, and not a single car has passed. But I'm going to explore a little bit of this suburb over here, and then I'm going to make my way to Riverdale Avenue. And I think there's going to be like more activities going on over there, like more residential areas, more shops. Over there, I see 252nd Street. So I'm going to check on my maps to navigate which side should I go. But let's see. Stay tuned. Then over here, look at this. This is like a huge mansion over here. Wow. It could be literally like a hotel, but I wonder how many people live here. It's just so huge and everything. And then I know over here there's more beautiful houses going on. Wow. Just gorgeous. And it's like, a, like I say, a, a hidden gem in the Bronx. Like not too many people know about this neighborhood over here, but it's a little bit isolated. And I think the best way to explore it is by car, not by foot. Or maybe by a bike. Like I'm literally the only guy walking around here. <laughs> I'm a, and I'm running a little bit over breath, but it's pretty cool experience, you know, pretty cool experience. Then this is really private to say a private street over here. So but this one should be like a main street, so I know I'm pretty good over here. Here you got another beautiful house. Like I say these houses are really huge. And they keep the yards like pretty nice, you know, decorate decorated and everything. At least I see another guy walking, so I'm not the only guy walking around here. <laughs> yeah, this kind of gives me a feel like if I'm in Central Jersey or like outside New York City, but believe it or not, this is still New York City. Not too far from Westchester County. And then I like how the nature is, so I'm taking advantage of the summer and that the weather is just perfect to walk around here. But yeah, this is really beautiful. Do you see the New York City bus? Then the street is pretty much better. Well done. And the beauty about the trees, it must suck when the spring comes, like the pollen and everything that I suffer from that, but yeah. And then here you got another house, just like in the movies, which is pretty gorgeous. Then here I'm crossing the highway, and this is another cool section, Fieldstone which is really residential. And I knew about this neighborhood because I drove by here. It takes you all the way to Mount Vernon and Westchester County. So it's pretty cool. And then all of this is nature, but I recommend that you do it better by car. I forget the best way to explore around. But now I'm just gonna make it by the main road of this neighborhood, Riverdale Avenue. I'm gonna head towards that way, towards north. And I know there's gonna be like a lot of business and some high-rise buildings. So we're gonna see how the neighborhood changes from this side to the other one. 
You can see all the nature surrounded right here, but then we're gonna see the different change going on. Then here I'm in the beginning or some part of Riverdale Avenue, but you can see it's pretty residential. You can see a lot of beautiful houses going on. But then, like I say, the more I walk further, the pretty interesting it's gonna be. It's gonna start getting a little bit busier, so. So here you got a high-rise building. And then this over here is 252, which it takes you straight to the Metro North. I might need to walk back towards that way. But then I think this is where it's gonna be the drastic change of Riverdale Avenue. This is where you're gonna start seeing all the business and stuff going on. Then the entrance to the highway is over that way. And then they got a bus stop over here. So pretty convenient neighborhood and pretty clean, you know, pretty decent. But then like I say, this neighborhood is like a mixture of a suburb, a small town. Then it has a little bit of a city vibe with it, you know, but really quiet. And you can see a lot of apartment complex going on over here. And this is literally like my first time walking around the street. But look how they keep the sidewalk, like pretty beautiful, the plants and everything so clean. So I think that's pretty cool. Then you see the beauty of the sidewalks. And then this is a school here. Not sure if it's a high school, middle school, but yeah. I like the way how it has the design of a church. Then even up here, I see Puerto Rican flag. And some apartment complex, you know, it must be really nice to live around here within the bus stop. Like I say, the best way to commute here, I guess is by bus or by the Metro North, cause there's no subway stops around here. Unless you want to go to Kingsbridge, but it's a little bit far from here. But so far, this is really like a brief of fresh air, you know? So I'm really loving this neighborhood so far. And this is where I'll say it gets a little bit busier. You got a couple shopping centers around here, like a supermarket and then some high-rise buildings, apartments. And there's some business over here, like pizzerias, bank. Uh, then there's a key food supermarket, which is around here in different areas of New York City. T-Mobile store right here. I'm not sure if they got like an alleyway over here or a little street, but it feels like a small town, you know? <laughs> And then I'm sure there's a pretty nice view in those high-rise buildings when you live up there. And now I'm going down the hill. The miss is going to be when I come back going up this hill. But I'm down for the venture. And here's like a Latin restaurant. It must be popular, I guess, in a good day. Today is Monday, so you know, but I guess in the weekend it's probably busy. It is Carlos Gabby, I guess it's another, it's a Mexican restaurant across the street. You can't really see it clear. And they got their outdoor dining over here. Clothing center, so yeah, pretty interesting. So I made a detour over here in 259 and really beautiful street. I'm gonna walk it to the end. But you can see, look at the houses over here. Pretty residential. But if I keep going deep to the end, it takes me to one of the longest streets in New York and probably the whole world, which is Broadway, which I made a couple of videos over there in Manhattan, but I'm gonna see this side of the Bronx. And then on the other side is part of the park, Van Cortland Park, which that park is bigger than Central Park in Manhattan, but yeah, pretty beautiful. And then you can see residential area and the houses are made out of brick, brick houses. So yes, yeah, it's a really, really beautiful, affluential neighborhood. So I gotta say within a 25 minute commute, it's crazy that you get this different vibe from Manhattan. All this peace and quietness going on, the trees and nature. Like I'm literally surrounded, you know, by a beautiful suburb. And you wouldn't believe this is the Bronx. The Bronx got a lot of beautiful neighborhoods, you know, like Spite and Divo, around the Pelham Parkway, Fieldstone, so, you know. Like I said, the news doesn't treat the Bronx pretty well, but there's like hidden gems. There's also like the Woodland Heights, which is an Irish neighborhood. And I see an Irish flag over there. So I assume the person that lives there is Irish. So yeah, but this is really, really, really gorgeous right here. Just look at these houses. So beautiful, you know. Here is Broadway, 
which it goes all the way to Manhattan from here. But this is like a different side because where you see all the trees is actually Van Cortland Park. Pretty beautiful street right here, you know, like a different scenery. And within a couple of blocks away, if I keep going further, I'm going to be exiting your city and entering West Central County. So it'll be the borderline of the Bronx with Yonkers, I believe. So within a, within a couple of blocks, you know, this is like literally like deep further up in New York City, but pretty beautiful city, you know, pretty beautiful neighborhood and park. And you can see the park over there, they got like a baseball field, I believe. And a couple of residential apartments over here. And I can smell the fresh air, I can smell the trees and nature, so it's really beautiful. And now I'm working some really good cardio. <laughs> a lot of hills here, but I'm surrounded by the nature. So I'm gonna walk like a couple of blocks more, make it to 261st, and then make it back to the Riverdale Avenue. And I'll probably wrap up the video. I already saw like a good amount of portion of this neighborhood. But I think Riverdale stands all the way down to the southern part. Spite and Dival, I think it's part of Riverdale too, which I covered a video over there a couple of years ago. So yeah, it's a really, really beautiful neighborhood. And you can see the beautiful houses and how they keep the sidewalk and everything over here. Pretty much what you can get in any other American neighborhood in a suburb or anything. And I gotta keep coming back to the Bronx exploring more neighborhoods. Like a couple, like a week ago, I already covered Kingsbridge. Now I think I'm gonna try to cover other, other neighborhoods that are probably a little bit farther from here, but we're gonna do it, you know, that's the main purpose of this channel. So you see all these beautiful houses happening over here. And I gotta say, the street reminds me a little bit of one of the streets in Capitol Hill in Seattle, which I covered that section a couple of months ago when I was visiting Seattle. Like the same style, you know, the houses and everything, the, the trees with the street. But this is in the heart of the Bronx. So I'm gonna push it forward because I'm looking at the map and I think if I walk one more block down, I'm actually entering Westchester County, which is outside New York City. So if I go like one more block down, I think I'm gonna be entering, like I say, another town, another city, which is Yonkers. This is the Bronx. But you're gonna see it pretty much like when I did the video of Woodland Heights, it's literally bordering Yonkers too, so in the video I cross the border to the other town and I'll show you what it's like, so I'm gonna show you over this side. And it looks like the same style too, like it's surrounded by a park. And then I see a couple of buses like park over here, so I'm gonna see what this borderline looks like. So ahead of me is 263rd, and if I'm not mistaken, I think that might be the separation of West Central County with the Bronx, New York City. So this is the Bronx and where you see that building over there, that's actually Yonkers, West Chester County. This is 263rd over here. So I think this little house over there, that's already another county. So pretty interesting, I'm crossing 263rd. And I think I'm officially in Yonkers, West Chester County, New York. New York City is right behind me where the bus is. But then yes, Made it here to another borderline. And it's pretty cool, you know. Just keeping an eye on it to see what's, what it's like over here. And then over here you can see the New York City buses. I guess they end over here. But then over there at the end, you cannot see it clear. There's another bus and that's the West Central County bus. So that's how you know you're in another town. Doesn't look much of a difference, you know, but yeah. I'm a fan of borders too, which is towns or cities or countries. So I made it back again to Yonkers. So that was the end of my video exploring this lovely neighborhood of Riverdale in the Bronx, New York. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there, everybody. God bless y'all and peace.